Okay, guys, we got an interesting one here. So we got this Volvo. Um, it's a 2017 XC uh, XC90, and it had these codes right here. System two lean, bank one. So I want to show you guys something. <coughs> so I came in here and I noticed my fuel trims when I drove it were going up to uh, like 80, 90 percent fuel trims. So I got the fuel trims and the oxygen sensors set up. So we got long term, short term right here. So you just add them together. So 36 minus 28, get around 8% additional fuel it's adding. Plus or minus 10% is usually what they call normal. This will actually go into normal the longer I let it sit. We got our front oxygen sensor signal, which is at 0.993 volts. It's an air fuel ratio sensor. We got the rear at 0.85. So <laughs> I looked this up on IETN. And I came across this post right here because I was trying to see if there was anything like real common that goes wrong with these. And came across this post right here from this Joseph. Had the exact same problem. He said they're within spec. When long term shoots up to 30 when they drive under load or decel. <coughs> and his pressures, her fuel pressures and stuff was fine. Just like mine. So then there was a person that commented. Uh... Was it on this one? Let's see. I'm trying to see where this was. Let's see. Let's go back. Okay. So somebody had commented in here. Somewhere saying to check this post. I was trying to see if it was this person that linked. Right here, this Adam uh, Garberg, he commented and said that the front goes crazy. And he uh, works at a Volvo dealership, it looks like. And uh, he, he made a... <coughs> oh, and he also says here to pull off the uh, hose that goes to the corner of the oil trap. Because I think this has a PCV issue too. Because there's a lot of crankcase vacuum, I'll show you guys that. Uh, but um, he says to go under here. And then he says to uh, free rev the engine for a minute or two, then let it come back to idle. And the fuel trims will go 30 to 50%, and the rear will show dead lean and spike up to 0.95 to 1 volt. So he made a post here showing this uh, screenshot. But um, I don't even have to do that. So with this one, I'll show you guys this. So we'll graph our volts. Well, actually, we only have to graph this one because this one doesn't really change too much. Uh, let's see. Let's put this back. So if I just snap the throttle real quick. Right there, you saw the RPM go up. See our rear goes dead lean. And then see our voltage for our front doesn't really change too much. Look at that. Now we're at 70 plus 36. <coughs> so that's, what, 95% fuel? And then look how long this takes to recover. But it will recover. But our, our rear stays rich the whole time. And you can see we're at idle. See, now it's coming back down. It takes a long time for it to come back down. <coughs> That's why I think we got a bad front air fuel ratio sensor. You see how much fuel got to take away. And our rear auction sensor is still stuck rich. See, now it's starting to come down. See that? Now we're back down to like positive 8%, 7%. See, that in our front didn't change that much. 
and it'll come back down. It'll eventually end up going down to like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. But it, take, it takes a while to get farther than this. But you see it's starting to come down. Let me snap it again, just real quick. See, we didn't even go that high in RPM. Look at that. Boom. Now look at all that fuel. <coughs> so, we popped the hood on this. I'm going to smoke this intake real quick. See if we have any problems, but I guess I'll do that PCB test. Um, but if we take this cap off right here, there's a lot of vacuum in here. It just sucks the cap down. So that's why I want to smoke this real quick and double check. But they did put a OEM mass airflow sensor in here and an OEM spark plugs. They did four of them because it, it had misfire codes. So I hope you guys like this one. See you later. Okay guys, I just want to show you, I smoked the, I'm smoking the car right now and we're, we we're able to build pressure, you can see that because it comes out of there. So there's no, there's no leaks in this car. So this system sealed up really well because these get leaks at the supercharger. Um, the only other thing is I could try to take this hose off so we, we can blow through the, uh, this uh, oil separator right here. These things go bad all the time. And if that's good, then uh, just got to change that air fuel ratio sensor. Because supercharger's back here. Right there's the pulley for it. There's a clutch <coughs> for it too. I can turn it on. So I got a turbo and a supercharger. So, like I said, I'm going to uh, take that clamp off and we're going to check it. So guys, the guy from the Volvo said if you blow in this hose right here um, into the oil separator, you shouldn't be able to, but it's free flowing. So I'm going to tell him to replace this oil separator because I can just blow air right into that. So this is bad. And we got a bad air fuel ratio sensor. So I hope you guys like this. If they have me come back out, I'll show you guys it fixed. If not, I hope you guys like this. And uh, this is a confirm that it fit, it's fixed if I release this video. See you guys later.